The doctor. There he is. Third summit of Denali. And I'm gonna give it a shot and ski off this thing. Give me a hug, man. Good job. Dude, thanks for sticking it out with me. What a privilege to be up here, huh? All right, dude, we'll see you down there. <laughs> Woo. Okay, so it is officially about 10 minutes before I head to the airport, PDX, to fly up to Alaska to then fly out to the Denali Glacier to meet Colin. He was able to summit Denali today with John, which is an incredible, a great start to the project. I couldn't be more excited to be a part of this. You guys are definitely in for a ride. Yeah, see you later. Well, what goes up must come down. About halfway in the descent, it's all whited out now. Um, John's already back in camp because he has skis. So, because I ripped up my feet and couldn't ski from the summit today, I have to walk down in this whiteout all alone right now. Good times. It was a bit of a last minute deal, but Alaska Airlines officially came on board as a partner for us in the project. Thank you for yeah, the safe flight. flight appreciate it, sir. Thank, thank you for getting you. me here safely. I appreciate that. So, a big thank you to Alaska Airlines for getting me up to Anchorage. barely feel it. You might be asking why are the skis on our back while we're going downhill. Well, it turns out it's too icy right now to ski downhill some of the section. Putting a little back on my back, how we feel. Sitting here at base camp. Been waiting for the plane for a couple hours. I was supposed to be on a flight to Ala uh, Hawaii in like six hours. Dr. John doesn't seem to be too stressed. I can hear a lot of planes overhead. Like a war zone this morning. <laughs> There's a little, no, bit, of, a little bit of fog down there. <sighs> well, so I am currently at K2 Aviation, and unfortunately, I just got told that the plane that's going out to pick up Colin and John off the glacier is full. Ryan's in Talkeetna. We're stuck out here. This fog bank is not cooperating to let the planes land, so, and I'm exhausted. Hungry. John and I are getting desperate now, so we're pulling back into our food stuff. We were hoping to eat breakfast in civilization today. This is gonna be the craziest turnaround if we somehow pull it off. First of many delays, I suspect, but getting from here to Hawaii would be interesting. <laughs> Our flight from Anchorage is at like 4.30. <laughs> and it's 12.15 right now, we're on the glacier. Oh my. <laughs> Go breath. crush it and we'll see it for the big ones later. See you in the West. Right, GPS says 401 p.m. arrival. Our flight leaves at 437. We have to return this car. It's the only flight to Hawaii today, and I submitted <laughs> Denali less than 24 hours ago. Just We're charge gone. the car yeah. that's on file. Yeah. Perfect, that's fine. We gotta go. Just charge the car on our file. Yeah, whatever. No problem. <laughs> um, we made it! Oh, she geez. actually opened the door for us. We to were that close. <laughs> That close, She's dude. Like, uh, I guess I'll open the door back for you. Oh my god. Let's go to Hawaii! Um, this is, this isn't too pleasant, but a little bit of a bumpy road here to get up to Mauna Kea. Look at this. This is insane. So 
coming to Mauna Kea. Two down, 48 to go. Pretty amazing to be up here knowing I was on Denali less than 48 hours ago, 36 hours ago, I don't know. But it's actually kind of cold up here in Hawaii. Who would have thought? I mean, look at this. This is just absolutely spectacular. And Mauna Kea, if you drained the ocean, is actually the tallest point in the entire world. So it's taller than Mount Everest from the bottom of the ocean. So we're actually, in some strange way right now, standing on the tallest point in all of the world as well. So summit of Mauna Kea, Hawaii, which is also kind of my second home state. My dad lives in Hawaii, so never been here before. Amazing. So stoked that we got off that bush plane and made all the connections and somehow got here. Woo! Summit! We were standing on a glacier in Alaska yesterday, but this feels so amazing. How did, uh, how did you like your first taste of the Hawaiian Ocean? Salty. Salty. Well, we've been in Hawaii for a few hours now. Seems like the most obvious thing is back to the airport. <laughs> Playtime is over. 